since I interviewed you last, which by the way, people can look that one up. There's a picture of Bill and Chris Jericho um, on the cover of the three hour interview, which is very detailed and contains maybe you talking for about 25 minutes about training Sting and the Ultimate Warrior. But you were also, you told a story in that about Dynamite Kid spiking one of your ring crew boys uh, drink. Yeah. But we all know that you were part of the ring crew and you had an issue with an interview I did with the brother of Tom Cole, who was right. one of the, I guess WWE gave him some type of settlement. Lee Cole, to my knowledge, there was, if you look it up, there was no over the table settlement with him. And you questioned his credibility. I right. questioned some of his credibility as well. Some of the stuff he says made more sense than others. But what was it specifically you wanted to say about your experience? Well, I can tell you, I remember the, our conversation online, and, I, and I, I'll just say it like I said it. I called him a, a media whore. I believe he was looking for publicity. The, the Cole brothers are, were a lot of looking for publicity. I think uh, um, Tom Cole was his name, uh, the, the rig boy. Uh, I believe he was, uh, he was gay, and he enjoyed whatever he got out of that. I don't know. But... I, I I dispute the fact that uh, that like I'm, I can't say that like Mel Phillips and Terry Garvin and these kind of guys Pat Patterson all these guys aren't gay or or bisexual whatever and did something with somebody but they make it uh, uh, Lee Cole makes it sound like uh, Mel Phillips just went from arena to arena with young boys all over the country. And I could just tell you in the Western half of the country, I was a ring crew chief. Terry Garvin set me up in my position and I never saw any of that ever. And I was around Mel Phillips countless shows on the West coast where he did the ring announcing before I was doing a ring announcing this in the mid eighties. I was a ring crew chief in the, Late eighties, from eighty seven ish to eighty uh, to about ninety three, I was a ring announcer in Los Angeles, San Diego, Bakersfield, Fresno, and many other cities. But I was around uh, and around Mel Phillips quite a bit. I never saw any of that, any any negative behavior. He was the ultimate professional. Mel Phillips was, and I can say the same personally from Terry Garvin or Pat Patterson, both the ultimate professionals never saw any of that behavior. I can only say what I saw and what I felt. And I was around him with a lot of young guys working on my ring crew, a lot of uh, shows. I mean, hundreds of shows from Reno, Nevada to uh, all the way to Seattle, to Portland, to Phoenix, Tucson. Uh, I, I was around uh, a long time with WWF. Never saw any of that behavior. And uh, I don't know if this was an exclusive New England area thing where Mel was active doing that with, with Cole, with uh, Tom Cole. I don't know. But I can just say that in listening to the interview, it just seemed like Lee Cole was just enjoying the publicity a little too much. And um, it just sounds like they were bigger marks for wrestlers uh, than anything else. And uh, sometimes... Uh, a male mark would maybe do something with a male, just like a female mark does things with wrestlers. We call them rats, unfortunately. It's a term that was used many decades ago in wrestling. Uh, but it, and it's not a nice word, but it's, it's just a word that was used. And I have a feeling maybe uh, Tom Cole was a rat. I don't know. But uh, I never met the guy. I don't know him from Adam. I, I've never met his brother. But I just got an uneasy feeling watching the interview uh, that you did. I, I just felt uh, there's something wrong here. Just a personal opinion. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.